This is the first tutorial about the FlexiLine configuration in the FlexiSoft Designer. In this video I'm going to show you how to take a FlexiLine system into operation. At first we are going to connect four FlexiSoft stations via the FlexiLine interface. And afterwards I will explain what we mean with topology when talking about FlexiLine and how we can confirm the topology of a FlexiLine system. So let's get started. I will explain you these steps with four of our FlexiSoft demo cases. All of them are equipped equally. Here we have our CPU3 and the XTIO module. Here is an e-stop. Here are start and reset buttons. Here are the FlexiLine terminals to the previous and the next station. And here is a teach switch which I will explain in the next video. To visualize the hazardous machine movement we have this little saw. In order to distinguish the demo cases, I will give them the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. All these FlexiSoft stations have the configuration which we established throughout the previous tutorials. Please be aware that each station in a FlexiLine system must be configured in the FlexiSoft designer as an individual station. And as I said, you have to make sure that the FlexiLine definition of every station is the same. Remember the checksum. Now let's connect the stations one after another via the FlexiLine interfaces. I'm going to connect the line terminals next of the first station with the pre-terminals of the next station. And then again with the other stations. Of course always A to A and B to B. The line terminals of the CPU3 itself are actually located here. Let's now start the FlexiSoft stations. If the configurations and wiring are correct, every station will change to the status Teach Required and the line LED flashes green. Now we simply have to confirm the topology of the FlexiLine system. But before I'm going to show you how to do that, I will explain what topology regarding a FlexiLine system exactly means. The individual stations within the FlexiLine system are not identified using addresses. Instead, each station is connected to its immediate neighbors as we have done it before. So for example, the second station communicates with the previous station 1 and the next station 3. Each station communicates only with two direct neighbors. The arrangement of the stations in the FlexiLine system must be confirmed during commissioning via a teach process. Once you change something within the topology, the FlexiLine communication will stop. Then you only have to confirm the new arrangement before the communication can start again. Now let me show you the teach process. At first I will connect one of the stations with the FlexiSoft Designer. In this example I am going to connect station 1. However, you could connect any station of the FlexiLine system to perform the teach. And now let's switch to the FSD. Here we see that station 1 is online. In wire interfaces and then FlexiLine, we go to the FlexiLine configuration window. Here we see a new button on the toolbar in the left corner, the teach button. This one only appears when a station is online. With a simple click, the topology of the system is checked and confirmed. Although I'm connected to the first station, you can see here information from a previous station. This is only a virtual station, which delivers the default value for each byte in order to perform the evaluation of the FlexiLine logic. Now I simply have to reset every station, press the start button and all actuators start running. And that's the end of this tutorial. I've shown you how to commission a FlexiLine system, at first the wiring and then the teach process. In the next video we are going to change the arrangement of stations and instead of using the FSD for the teach process we will implement a switch to confirm the new topology.